Welcome to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman. Sean is uh, not here today. He's uh, at work. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to try out this product that I heard is good for your AC system. And that is it's AC Safe Air Conditioning Coil Foaming Cleaner. The idea is, is that your AC condenser, which is basically your radiator, uh, for your AC system, uh, the hot refrigerant that is compressed by the compressor is sent to the condenser to be cooled before it goes to the receiver dryer, then to the expansion valve, and the cycle goes on to the evaporator and then back. So that thing uh, has cooling fins just like your radiator for the, the radiator for the engine, and uh, it gets uh, gummed up with a lot of bugs and dirt. And the idea is, if you use this product, you clean up the cooling fins really well, and you get um, you get better cooling because you don't have all that junk in the way. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to have a control where I'm going to run the engine on full AC. I'm going to put this uh, little uh, kitchen thermometer in the center uh, vent and see what kind of temperature I'm getting cooling-wise. And then I'm going to clean the, uh, the air conditioning condenser on my truck and uh, see if there's any difference. Going out to the truck. You can see that there's tons of bugs all smashed in here. This is my external cooler I added this year. Kind of wish I would have cleaned behind the AC condenser before I did that. But uh, I'm just going to spray this all really good with that cleaner and they say that it's um, self-cleaning you don't have to rinse it out but I'll most likely grab my garden hose and give it an additional rinse before I call it good and what I did is I took off the the grill which is really easy it's not hard all you got to do is uh, push down on these tabs like like so you got one there two three four five six and seven so you just take a screwdriver you push down you pull out a little bit to get it loose and you work your way around and then you're able to finally pull the grill off uh, not hard at all and if you want okay now I'm in the truck I'm gonna start it up I'm gonna turn the AC on high and I'm just gonna give it um, you know a good like five minutes in order for it to get cool sitting here at idle it's not going to have much airflow through the uh, through the condenser so I'm just going to let this thing get cool for about five minutes and I'll shut it off and I'm going to put the, uh, the thermometer right in here I can get it to stay there we go. So we're going to give this some time and come back. Okay, I let it run about five minutes and um, it seems to not be getting any colder than 51.6 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm now going to shut it off. I'm going to spray the product on the condenser and clean it up and then try the same test after I've cleaned up the condenser. Okay, the directions say you turn off or turn uh, or disconnect power to whatever you're doing. I think that means more like a AC unit. You shake well. You remove the cap and you uh, point towards the surface to be clean. You avoid spraying on electrical wires or connectors, so that's good to know. And you thoroughly saturate the targeted area with the product. It says it's a self-rinsing formula. Uh, the foam will break down in condensation accumulation will rinse the emulsified material so technically you don't have to rinse it off but I will most likely give it a few shots with my garden hose after I'm done so now I'm gonna apply the product okay I've shaken the can really well and now I'm gonna start spraying the product
And I'm going to spray my uh, trans cooler too. Switch hands. Try to get behind there a little bit. And I'm going to get below here, underneath the truck, and get the rest of it, try to get it. See, I'm going underneath the uh, skid here. Instead of uh, just using part of the can, which it might have got two applications out of that, it was a big can, but I just uh, decided to keep on spraying until I used the whole can, just kept on going over it and over it, hitting all the areas. So I'm going to let this uh, cleaner stay on here for a while, and then I'm going to grab my garden hose and spray it out a little bit and see what the end result looks like, and then turn the truck back on, turn the AC back on high and see if I get any lower temperatures because of it. Maybe a little more. look at it it does look a lot cleaner you could see all the bent fins which doesn't help with the cooling but that looks a lot cleaner than it was all those bugs for the most part are gone a lot of the dirt is gone so now I'll go back into the rig run the air conditioning see if I get a little bit lower temperature than I did before okay I'm back in the truck it's again hot and here, after that time that the truck has been sitting, turn it back on, full AC, on recirculate. And I'm again going to do this for about uh, five minutes and see uh, if I get a little lower temperature. Okay, it's been running for about five minutes. You can see that the temperature dropped to about 44.7 which is about seven degrees cooler than it was before so so you saw the end result that I was able to drop the temperature uh, of the AC coming out of the, the center vent by about seven degrees it went from 51.8 to 44.7 so a little over seven degrees now, was that 100% uh, due to the fact that the fins were cooler uh, on the AC condenser? I'm thinking uh, part of it was also due to the fact that there was water on the fins for me spraying it with the garden hose. And because that water was there, pulling air through it via the engine fan, I think uh, that uh, enhanced the cooling aspect uh, for the condenser to cool the Freon. So, I still think though a lot of it was due to having cleaner fins and uh, having more passages for the air to pull through to uh, cool off that AC condenser. And it's also maybe going to help with the cooling of my radiator too uh, for the engine coolant temperature because the AC uh, condenser sits in front of the radiator. So if you have a cleaner AC condenser, you're going to get more air flowing through the condenser and thus more air flowing through your radiator which is a good thing so 
I think is a very worthwhile thing to do to clean up that AC condenser so you get better uh, performance out of your AC system. And also uh, another benefit, like I said, is you're going to get possibly a better running radiator because you're getting going to get more airflow through the condenser and through the radiator. So thank you for watching Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman. I'll be back with more videos. Most likely next one will be AC Recharge. Thanks for watching.